Here we are at 6 o'clock. We're going to go right around 6 degrees. Look at the numbers drop down. We're minus 1 tomorrow morning, but outlying spots much colder than that. Easily 10 degrees below 0 to 15 degrees below 0. So you hear about the polar vortex. We use that term very rarely because it's actually a thing. It is not just some hyped up phrase. So the polar vortex, this is what it is. Up at the poles, both the North and South Pole, there's an upper level low pressure system. And basically the winds around it go counterclockwise because of the turn of the Earth. And this generally hangs out at the poles. A little bit weaker in the summer, a little stronger in the winter. But what happens and what is happening right now is occasionally because of the tilt of the earth and because things kind of wobble around, some of that will dip down to the south. And that is what is happening now. And when it does, that jet stream moves to the south. It brings that biting cold air with it and it drops it all the way into our country. It typically does not last long. This will be the case as well. But man, when you are bringing the air straight from the poles into our country, that's record breaking territory in many uh, locations and in many situations. We're talking about how long this is going to last, how cold we will get here locally, and a major, major change in our forecast, as well as the next snowmaker coming in. All that and more coming up in just a few minutes. Jonathan, we'll send it over to you. Great explainer, Bill. Thanks for that. You know, we're already starting to get some school delays for tomorrow morning. So